it, although like right now people think of Tesla as a lot of people think Tesla is a car company or perhaps an energy company. Um, I think long term people will think of Tesla as much as an AI robotics company as we are a car company or an energy company. I think we are developing one of the strongest hardware and software AI teams in the world. Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So as we all know, Tesla crushed their Q1 2021 earnings. No surprises there. In this video, I'm gonna be focusing on some of the bombshells dropped by Elon Musk regarding artificial intelligence, Dojo, and the future of Tesla. So let's get into the video. And by the way, since I know there's a lot of crypto lovers watching and people who like free stuff, it's your lucky day. For a limited time, you can get up to $250 in free crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. It also helps out the channel. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. How is Dojo coming along? Could Dojo unlock an AWS-like business line for Tesla over the next few years? It, although, like right now, people think of Tesla as a lot of people think Tesla is a car company or perhaps an energy company. Um, I think yeah, long term, people will think of Tesla as much as an AI robotics company as we are a car company or an energy company. I think we are developing one of the strongest hardware and software AI teams in the world. So this is a comment that literally everyone on Wall Street is going to completely ignore. Elon Musk has just provided an enormous hint to the future of the company and how critically important artificial intelligence is not only to Tesla, but to the world in general. Elon has confidently just claimed that he believes that Tesla is building one of the world's best artificial intelligence teams and I have no reason to doubt him. We'll hear a lot more when Tesla holds their artificial intelligence day some point in the future, but rest assured, Practically every analyst on Wall Street, literally everyone in the mainstream finance media, and almost every retail investor will have absolutely no idea what the f*** they just saw. They'll be left scratching their heads, while the few people who actually understand how critically important artificial intelligence is, and actually have a reasonable understanding of how neural networks work, will be blown the f*** away. I'm just telling you guys what's going to happen now because the same thing happened at Battery Day to a lesser degree. This is going to happen times 10 at Tesla's AI Day. Certainly, we, we appear to be, just, be able to do uh, things with full self driving that, that others uh, cannot. And if you look at the evolution of, uh, our, of what technologies we developed, we developed them in, in order to solve the problem of self driving. So we, we couldn't find a powerful enough neural net inference a computer, so we designed and, and built our own. The software out there was, was uh, really quite primitive for this task, and so we built a team from scratch and have been developing what we think is probably the most advanced real-world uh, AI in the world. Okay, so the world's best software wasn't good enough. Tesla decided, well, we'll just code our own. The world's best hardware wasn't good enough. Tesla decides, you know what, we'll develop our own. And they did. And now they have developed the world's most advanced real-world artificial intelligence, period. It's really worth taking a moment to just let the implications of this sink in. Maybe you've heard of Amazon or Google, two of the world's largest companies by market cap, two of the world's most valuable companies. And why would that be? Because they're two of the world's leading artificial intelligence companies. Tesla's gonna to be among them. In fact, Tesla already is. But the difference is, their artificial intelligence is even more behind the scenes. At the moment, the majority of Tesla's AI prowess is focused around solving vision, fully autonomous driving. Because they don't have vehicles on the roads today that are operating completely autonomously, people are failing to recognize how critically important artificial intelligence already is to Tesla and how far ahead of everyone they are. Tesla is doing groundbreaking, world-leading artificial intelligence work when it comes to vision. This is incredible and the marketplace just doesn't understand because it's not in their face. Much like people may not realize that AI is completely powering Amazon and their recommendations, AI is powering Google, in fact, AI is powering YouTube too, that's how you found this video. The YouTube algorithm, the artificial intelligence knew that you'd probably wanna watch this video. Funnily enough, you're doing exactly that. Kinda of makes my point, right? AI, super powerful, Tesla a leader in this space, yet nobody realizes it. And Tesla continues to pioneer and push forward. They will ultimately become one of the world's, if not the world's best and biggest AI company over the long term. Elon's pointing this out now, but of course, people are just going to ignore him. They'll think, oh, crazy, Elon, yeah, whatever, if, yeah, you make cars. And then it sort of makes sense that this is kind of what needs to happen because the road system is designed 
for a neural net computer, our brain. Our brain is a neural net computer. Uh, and it's the, the entire road system is designed for vision with, neural, with a neural net computer, which is because it's designed for eyes and a brain. Now, where have I heard that before? It's almost like Elon's been watching my channel. I've said the exact same thing. Our entire road network is designed for a neural network, our brain, and two cameras to function. So mimicking this is a perfect way to solve autonomy. No need for radar and LIDAR and a bunch of other horse shit. And we have a functioning example of vision plus a neural network reasonably safely driving vehicles. And the reason that I mentioned that I've said exactly what Elon has just said isn't because I'm, oh, look at me, I'm special. It's because if we use our own neural networks and infer and reason deductively, we will end up at the same conclusion. The way to solve autonomous vehicles is with a vision-based system attached to a neural network. We already have literally hundreds of millions of working examples of this exact software and hardware stack. Humans. This is why it just baffles me that anyone thinks LiDAR is necessary or even radar. We have vision and neural networks already driving literally a billion plus vehicles on planet Earth relatively safely today. So why would you think that this same approach when you've got more powerful compute, better vision, more cameras, more data, etc., would not be a viable path to getting there? I just don't get this. In fact, I'm going to say something controversial and true. If you're unable to reason to get to that same conclusion and deductively reason your way, go, you know what, that makes sense. Vision, cameras, plus neural network, that should work, right? If you're unable to get there, there's something faulty with your neural network. Or, not to be too harsh, you just don't know enough about how these things work. Once you do, once you've filled in your knowledge gap, you'll draw the same conclusion, unless something's broken. Fact. And so, if you have a system which has very good eyes, you can see in all directions at once, you can see three focal points ahead or forward, but it never gets tired, it's never t sort of texting, it has redundancy, and its reaction time is superhuman, then it seems pretty obvious that, that such a system would achieve an extremely high level of safety far in excess of the average person. So that's what, what, we're, what we're doing. Then Dojo is kind of the training part of that. So because we're, we're, we have over a million cars and, you know, perhaps, you know, next year we'll have two million cars in active use providing vast amounts of video training data that then needs to be digested by, by a very powerful training system. And currently we use a uh, Tesla training software. Like we have a lot of we develop a lot of training software, a lot of uh, labeling software to do to be able to do surround video labeling, uh, which is quite tricky. This means all eight cameras simultaneously at 36 frames a second per camera labeling video over time. There wasn't any tool that existed for this, so we developed our own labeling tool. This is probably the most profound thing that Elon Musk said on the entire earnings call. Yet I suspect most people won't even understand why. As Elon said, there was no tool available, so we developed our own. This tool that Tesla has now developed is something that many others on planet Earth want to use. There are going to be people throwing money at Tesla to use this service to label their own data in the future. Mark my words. The fact that Tesla has developed software now to automate the labeling of objects in a 3D space over time is insane. But of course, like I said, no one's going to understand why. But I just want to point this out now. So in a few years' time, when people are paying Tesla for this labeling service, you'll be like, oh, that dickhead on YouTube was right. Again. Then taking it a step further, obviously the, you know, the, the holy grail is auto-labeling. So now we're, we're getting quite good at auto-labeling, where, where the, the trainers train the training system, um, and, and then the system auto-labels, and the, the, label, the human laborers just need to look at the labeling to confirm that it is correct and perhaps make edits. And then every time an edit is made, that further trains the system. So it's kind of like a flywheel that's just sort of spinning up. And, and really, the only way to do this is with vast amounts of video data. So then we need to train this efficiently. So Dojo is really a, it, it is a supercomputer optimized for neural net training. We think Dojo will be probably an order of magnitude more efficient on, a, on say, I'm not sure what the exact right metric is, but say per frame of video, uh, we think it'll be an order of magnitude more cost efficient in hardware and in uh, energy usage per frame of video compared to a GPU-based solution or compared to the next best solution that we're aware of. I suspect many people will fail to recognize the significance of this point from Elon as well. So let me share my thoughts. If Elon is right, and I suspect he is, after all, the guy's got his finger on the pulse in artificial intelligence, has developed one of the world's greatest AI teams within Tesla itself, so the guy knows what he's talking about. If Elon's right, and Dojo is effectively 10 times, let's use the word better, we talk about efficient, but let's just use the word better, 10 times better than the next best solution. 
and Tesla's already mentioned that they're likely to offer Dojo as a service, much like Amazon Web Services, initially developed in-house to solve their own needs and now offered to other customers, Tesla's likely to do the same thing with Dojo. If it really is 10 times better than anything else in the marketplace, Tesla's gonna have a monopoly on this thing. Neural network as a service, data labeling as a service. I mean, this is gonna be an enormous money printer and people again, oh, Tesla makes cars, haha. <laughs> so again, I really wanna emphasize everything in this video. It's like, guys, AI is the future. AI is gonna be a huge component of Tesla. It already is. They're already one of the world's leading AI companies. When was the last time you heard a Wall Street analyst mention artificial intelligence in the same sentence as Tesla? <laughs> I'm just joking, guys, that was a trick question. It's never happened. That's kind of my point. Oh. Then, then you know, possibly that could be used by others. It does seem as though over time, I mean, just as an observation, I think basically just a fact that neural net-based computing or you know, AI-based computing is a more and more of the compute stack. Conventional computing, computing called perhaps heuristics-based uh, computing, is still going to be important. Still going to be very important, but, but neural net will become a, a bigger and bigger portion of of compute. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. But far more importantly than that. I hope you've got the message. AI is a huge component of Tesla's business today. Not tomorrow, not in a few years. Today already, Tesla is one of the world's leading AI companies and nobody gets it. Everyone's asleep because it's not customer facing. They don't realize how important AI is to Tesla already today. Artificial intelligence is taking over the world and becoming more and more integrated in our daily lives. The fact that Tesla is talking about using Dojo as a service, the fact that Elon has disclosed that Tesla has created their own solutions for a number of things because nothing else existed or what did exist was just not good enough, should speak volumes about what Tesla's doing in AI. The moral of the story is if there's a disconnect between reality, reality being Tesla's already one of the world's leading AI companies and they're gonna to continue to grow into that further in the future, and the perception, Tesla makes cars and maybe they do some energy, that, in my opinion, can be a massive buying opportunity for savvy investors. Of course, not investment advice. I do encourage you guys to use your own brains. Make sure you do understand the implications of AI. You really understand what's going on here. But I think at that point, when you do have a pretty solid knowledge base of artificial intelligence, deep learning, neural networks, and the importance of data, you really understand why I'm so excited about this company still. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think Wall Street and most investors are underestimating Tesla's artificial intelligence capabilities? I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget, if you'd like up to $250 in free crypto bonuses with BlockFi, use the link in the description. You can also get two free stocks with Webull and a free stock with Stake, also linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.